Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update and a slightly mixed bag out here. you got the Dow off 134, S&P down about 5, NASDAQ 100 up 26, Russell's up 1, Semi's up 25. They're the leader of the upside percentage-wise, up 1%. Spot volatilics is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's a positive for the uh, S&P. Gold's up 11 bucks. Silver's up 25 cents. Light sweet crude is now 45 pennies. Natural gas up 55 cents. That's a big move there. That's 9% to the upside. And the three-year treasury is up about a half a point trading out at 139.26. So let's uh, we'll take a look at the indice charts here. But I'm going to first uh, show you the chart that perhaps might be the most important for the NASDAQ 100. And that's in taking a look at Apple. No surprise there. But the surprises are not really a surprise, but the piece of information. So what we've got on Apple, you have a daily buy the D point pattern. Price is above, well, it's trading right now below the bottom of its daily profile, 147.55. If price can clear that level, that would be a positive to suggest that price should continue to move higher. But it's really the weekly chart that I was going to point out to you. And that is that red oscillator and change line. So you've got the valid bottom, a TD9 count bottom on a weekly basis for Apple. When you get a valid bottom, what price usually will do is make its way up to its oscillator and change line. That is exactly what has taken place this week. Now, that oscillator and change line changed colors about four weeks ago. When it changes colors, that's, the, that's a real confirmed signal that price and that line want to go ahead and meet. A little meet and greet. But bulls want to see price close above that level, 147.49. That does not mean it would be out of the woods. It does mean that you should see more counter trend rally. Right now, if price remains under 147.50, that says on a weekly basis, even though you've got a bottoming signal, you have a falling price oscillator below zero. So overall, the signal for Apple would be neutral. So 147.49 or thereabouts, that number's going to change a bit. So let's call it 147.60 or so. If price is able to close above that at the end of the week, then that's suggesting that we should have further rally. If not, well, price might actually pull back to the 146.62 level. That's its daily oscillator and change line. So we spent most of that session not looking at the indices. Here are the indices out here. You can see that each of the indices has rejected their red oscillator and change lines out there. So that's what's transpired with reception being the Dow Jones transportation index out here. Holding that line says that more rally could unfold. Stay tuned, folks. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday.